Okay, here's an abandoned PDA. Disaster. I'm gonna scroll down here. You can kind of read this. I'm gonna play them. Okay. I have had it with you, risking our lives. Oh, stoic chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing it home. What? Tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. Fluid analyzer, non-functional. I'll take it, why not? Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. We have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Nuclear Your waste disposal. I'm going outside. Bart, Torical has disembarked the habitat. That's not a good idea, Bart. Come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I know you can hear me. Ooh, an orange tablet? What's an orange tablet? Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. Oh. What? Brace! That's a not a good message to hear. What the? What's going on? I'm glitching out a little bit. Okay. Where's the way out again? I need to get some O2 real quick. There we go. There's the seam off. Ah. <laughs> Just calmly get it at the last second, you know. Risk taking. I'm still missing six and seven, apparently. Wait, what? Margaret did that? What are you so happy about, Maida? Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back mm. of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can... Oh, there's another one. If you'd like. You know what? Let's just get this lore. Let's just get this lore. This is going to be a long episode. You know what? You know what? I'm going to divide this into two episodes. This whole thing is just going to be one long part, okay? That's just how it's going to go. Or two parts. What am I talking about? I'm gonna one long session divided into two parts. I'll throw you a late intro though in a moment. When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. Well, Marguerite is crazy, Paul Torgal is the only reasonable guy, and Bart is also a crazy biologist. So yeah, that's good intel. I'll go ahead and give another intro. Hello adventurers, I'm Grey and welcome back to Subnautica. I'm in Degasi Sea Base, as you well know, because I'm part way into this episode. But it's just so interesting, I can't take a real break right now. So let's just continue. Hopefully, not get stuck down there. Oh, I, I didn't even grab the PDA out here, did I? Okay. Number Paul Torgel's log. I never found the other Paul Torgel's logs. Okay, let's read this. An alien kraken bigger than a cyclops. Tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. The rupture threw me clear of the habitat. The ooh, monster ooh, turned ooh. and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, Mader appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her. She had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then, I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hoped maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now, I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. Well, rip in piss. Uh, you know what, Margaret Maida might not be the smartest girl around, but she seems like a total bad A, if you know what I mean. Jesus. Freaking handling Please, all these beasts. Pointing. I'm sorry I'm playing these in all like a weird what? order. How? Eventually I can go back and play them all in order. Maybe not though. Yeah. Ooh, swim charge fins. Would have warned 
Commander Sefo Ashek. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, then. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every oh. organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how Ooh. are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? Yeah. Uh, just tell me what you need, son. Materials, equipment. Just. Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Okay. Seek fluid intake. So here we have stoic biologist, crazy fighter, mad adventurer lady, and we have the only reasonable level headed guy who just wants to survive on this planet. Turns out that's not a very good team combination, and it did not work out. Now the question is, would I survive if I was stuck on a planet with my friends? If I were to define us by the traits that define these three, I would definitely be... Mm, actually, I don't think I'd be as extreme as any of them, other than maybe the stoic like guy who wants to survive. I'd want to go on a little bit of an adventure, but my focus would definitely be on survival. I think I'd be a pretty, like, pretty good guy for surviving. I, I think I'd be a pretty decent leader, personally. I think Tristan would prop would be the most athletic guy and go out and get the resources and all sorts of stuff. I would hope that Andrew would be like the information guy who knows how like how to do stuff, knows how to communicate with like create technology to maybe contact people. I don't I don't know. And Zach would be the guy who would lighten our attitudes and make us feel a lot better about being stranded there. I have some radio messages which I can't check out yet cuz I got to go home. I gotta go home. And that's just what I'm gonna do right now because I am sick and tired of this biome. I'm sick and tired of this journey to come back and recover my seam off. I'm glad I have it done. I'm out of here. Sayonara. <sighs> <sighs> okay, I've, I've made it back home. I made it back home. I forgot to start recording because I was on a high focus on getting some water right now because I am dying from lack of water. I really need it. I cannot eat any food right now because I need water. I turned on the thing to hunt for salt deposits, but there's barely anything around here because I already gathered up a lot of it. Ow, I'm taking damage from lacking fluid now. Okay. Salt deposit, salt deposit, salt deposit. I'm completely out of fluids now. Come on, we'll go fast, go fast, go fast, go fast, go fast, go fast. Seamoth, Seamoth guide me. Seamoth guide me. Oh lord, oh lord, I, this is gonna be a very close call if I make it in time. Seamoth, go faster animations! Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! To the fabricator! Away! I'm running low on health, I'm on less than half! Sustenance. No, no. What? Can I not make it? Why can't I make it? Oh, I gotta make bleach! I'm forgetting what to do! Bleach. I'm panicking. Water. Disinfected water. Mm. Ah! 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 <sighs> Wonderful. <laughs> I'm at 15 health! <laughs> I'm gonna get some Oculus Rift in my belly. Mm. Delicious Oculus. Dense meat, good meal. Health kit. Uh. There we go. That's an adventure done. That's that adventure finished. Is there any recipes that I'm missing now? Any blueprints I haven't completed other than crappy ones? I got an orange tablet, don't know what that does. Light stick, don't care. I don't need a light stick. All the rest, I don't even have any blueprints for anymore. Heck, I found the alien containment that I needed. The only thing I could think about going out for an adventure anymore now is to get some plants for indoor planters. And I might do that off camera just because I, I, it's, I'm just going to go to places I've already been. Let's take a look at the Oculus. Oh, this is very detailed. Hmm. Small score of peepers once cut off and the Oculus species, how they developed. Night vision, lack of beak, and separated tail fin. They're edible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh yeah, I did find a sea dragon skeleton. I forgot to mention this because I just completely forgot I did. It was down there though. There was a sea dragon skeleton. And it looks like it died from head trauma. My guess is this was the run that rammed that base that was down there. And probably hurt itself doing that. When it was trying to get that egg that they were storing. So it died about 1,000 years ago. So that was when the aliens were here, 1,000 years ago. It was in the egg laying stage. Okay, and here we have the crab squid. It lurks amongst the blood cup and membrane trees in search of prey, and it deploys an EM pulse. Ten limbs featuring different appendages, uh, raised and other illuminated herbivores, are its usual prey, and it approach and attack any light source, and they appear to have large brains and are resembling to intelligent squids of Earth. And the thing in the creature's head is its stomach. Oh, okay. Well... Now, I'm going to go and gather some more resources, both for power, to stock myself up on health, water, and food, and then I'm going to prepare to make a new base. That is the goal for this part here, which I'm already about halfway through, or about three-fourths through this episode, probably. Anyway, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, I accidentally clicked on the radio. Uh, life by two coordinates, way past their depth and bleeding O2. Hmm. Good luck. Good luck. I'm sure you'll be fine. I think I have another radio message, too. Did I have another radio message? Oh, no, that was my only radio message. Okay. Well, I stocked myself back up. Everything seems to be going swell. I have a good amount of food, a really good amount of water now. I'm not going to make that mistake again. And hopefully, once I get this new base set up, water won't be any more an issue. Okay, going to restock the power here. But to be honest, I think I'm about done with this base. I think I'm going to leave it here as an outpost. However, I am going to make a new base. And I don't know exactly what I need to bring with me to do that. But I'll bring a lot of titanium. And I'll probably break down some of the things here. I'll leave the basics. I think I'm going to leave this whole section just because this is a good outpost to find things like salt and titanium and other resources up here. There's probably not as much deep down. Additionally... I'm going to leave the bioreactor as the source of power for this place. I'm not sure about the moon pool. I think I'll probably break apart the moon pool. I don't think I'm going to use it anymore, over here at least. And I don't want to make the mistake I made last time of taking forever to make a moon pool just because I didn't have the resources for it. So once this battery is fully charged, I'm just going to grab a ton of titanium, some quartz, maybe some silver and copper and stuff, and head out. Yeah, seems, seems good. As for where I'm going to build the base... I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Fully stocked up. Got another radio message. Yes, yes. So the aliens are still here. Apparently. Either that, I think they might just be the warpers, to be honest. Because I think when they said that they destroyed a target, maybe that was Kato-U. C-T-O-U's. So I think U's life pod was destroyed by the aliens, and that was her target going down. And that's no good, because that means there's only me left. So here we have prawn suit, 88%. I'm going to leave it here. I think I'm going to go build my new house now. I have a good amount of resources. I'm fully ready for it. I'm going to take my seam off, though, instead of the prawn suit. Reason being, they both go down the same distance, and I just prefer steering the seam off to, like, to scout around, to navigate. To me, it feels a little bit easier to, to navigate around this tight corridors with it than the prawn suit. Maybe not easier, but faster. Faster is probably the word. And I do not want to take the cyclops down here until I have a clear route mapped out, because... That thing is really difficult to control. I do want to eventually... Actually, I might just leave the Cyclops outside up there, potentially. I don't think I have a need to bring it down here, per se. Yeah, I think I might do that for now, and the Cyclops could be my way of navigating the deeper, or the upper parts of the ocean where it's more open. But down here, though, there's, a, there's quite a lot of space. Hmm... Anyway, I'm going to scout around, see if there's a good place to build my new house. I don't know if it'll be in the same spot I was looking at before, like near the lava area. If there's something else that seems more interesting, I might do it somewhere else. 
Plus, I can't even go down to the lava area yet because my Seamoth only goes to 900, and that's even further down than 900. Let me wander these biomes that you've seen before so you don't need to see it. Okay, I do not remember seeing this head here before. Jesus. Oh! My lord. You freaking see-through punk. Okay. I want to go inside this thing's mouth. I just want to see what it looks like. Because that would be pretty cool. Would you look at that? It's it, 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 it's it's a skull. If you couldn't tell. Is this the thing that I scan? Oh, I never scanned this, actually. Am I safe to be here? Probably not. Gargantuan fossil? Okay, let me let me take a look at this. The fossilized remains of an extinct super predator. Its sheer size would have prohibited it from entering such an enclosed space, suggesting that geography has shifted around it over time. A true apex predator. They did at approximately 3 million years old. Wow. Um, uh, leave me alone. I'm trying to read here. I'm trying to get some lore about the world, you know? Let's go this way. I've never been this way. It's looking a little bit planty over here. Lots of roots. This is... You gotta you gotta remember your roots. Where you came from. Ribcage measures suggest the creature was eel-like in structure. Calculations suggest this is only the front third. The remains now support a vibrant microcosm. A third party has taken samples from the specimen. Probably aliens. Definitely aliens. <laughs> Man, there's some like, giant predators on this place. Which makes sense that... An ocean planet would have all these predators. Because generally the largest organisms are able to survive in places like oceans. Because it's able to support their mass a lot easier than if they're in, on land. Due to the effects of gravity. Like it takes a lot more energy to be the same size on land than it does to be in the ocean. Because the ocean reduces the effect of gravity on you. Let me see, there's just a bone here. Is this anything important? Uh, it's just a random bone sticking out. I like my pizza boneless. Okay, I found another fossilized remains thing. This one looks very armored. Oh, and it looks... And it's very laggy. My favorite thing to see in a fossil. Oh my Jesus, I am lagging out like crazy. I'm, okay, the world rendered. Good, good, good. Ancient skeleton. This, like all the skeletons, these have all been analyzed by aliens. I'm happy to have found them. They're really interesting. Skeleton of a million year old, a little bit less old. Armored carnivore. Projections suggest it would have been larger than any living creature. What about that gargantuan fossil? Oh, any living creature. Okay. The oceans would have been very different to support many life forms of this size, so more open geography and more leviathan range creatures. You know what? I'm happy I'm not here during that time. This thing is large. And there's alien things everywhere. They were just analyzing this like mad. Did I already scan you? I think I already did. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a base? There's a base over here! Oh my gosh. Can I get in? I think I need to bring a... An orange tablet. I need to bring an orange tablet. But I have an orange tablet. Yes! Oh! I, I don't have anything to mark this place, though. I do know where it is, generally, and I have a video right here to show where it is if I ever need to find it again. So it shouldn't be too big of a problem. But yeah, I'll, I'll come back here later, for sure. I'm actually curious as to what this thing right here is. What are you, and why are you always so aggressive? Christ. Okay, let me, let me get a quick scan of you. If I can. If I can at all get a scan. It doesn't look like I can scan it. What the heck? Why? Okay, I'll, I'll just move then. I'll just I'll just leave you be. If I can't scan you, I don't have any more use for you. Uh, yeah. I have found a really beautiful thing. What the heck is this? Oh my gosh, this is so nice looking. What is that? An egg inside? There's and there's so many peaceful creatures around it. Let me let me scan this. Oh, I feel like I'm getting energy rate waves off of it. Let me scan this. Giant Cove Tree. I prefer to call it the Tree of Life. It's Yggdrasil. I'm gonna make it to Elysium. That's a reference. 
look at this, look at this nice sort of melodious harmonic sound coming off of it. You know, this would be a good place to build a new base, I think. It's nearly at my depth limit. It's pretty close to the lava caves, I'm sure. Let me head over here and see how close I can find lava at. Because if I can quickly get from here to the lava caves, this would be a perfect place to build. If I can get a nuclear reactor made and get some energy going down here too. Mmm. <laughs> this is so good. And I like how blue it is, since blue is my favorite color, actually. I'm not sure exactly what shade of blue. I really like turquoise. I also really like aquamarine. Oh, yes. This looks like it's starting to melt the walls. It must be very hot in here. This must lead to the lava area, right? Maybe. Down there. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Oh, crap. F. To pay respects. I'll take a quick look down here. Oh, it just keeps going? Okay. This definitely keeps going. I like this place. As long as there's more to explore, that's all I care about. That's, re that's really it. Wait, where the heck the Why do I always leave my seam off and lose where it is? Okay. Oh, it looks... The icon... <laughs> I thought it was one of the manta rays. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll probably build it right next to the tree. Like, basically leaning onto it. Because I just want to be surrounded by this blue aura of calmness and happiness. Oh, it's such a, such a difference from the green acid of before. Is this still, like, dangerous to go... Well, I can't really test it because I can't go deep enough. I want to test if the blue is still dangerous. I'll probably swim into it and see if it damages me in a moment. Probably will. Probably will. Hello, Yggdrasil. How are you? Thank you for being a nice tree here for me. Actually, let me take a look at the databank entry for it. Is it down in flora? Yep, yep. See? And giant cove tree. A vast tree encountered in deep cove and the only one of its kind. The tree is surrounded by rays grazing on its pink outer leaves. It has a hardy, fast-growing bark with minuscule organisms. Ghost Leviathan egg. Ghost Leviathan? This tree appears to have been an ancient nesting ground. The eggs were laid when the tree was young, and now the branches protect and grow them as they await the right conditions. I guess these Ghost Leviathans just take ages to grow and hatch. Okay, so where would be a good place to start the base? On that island right there? That island seems like a good one to start, actually. Or should I do this island? Hmm... I'll probably go for this one. It has a bit more space on it. And it has a little bit of an incline for some contoured, some depth to the build. Let me take a look at these eggs, though. Look at that. Slowly forming inside of there. I guess that thing that attacked me earlier that I couldn't scan effectively was the ghost leviathan. And maybe it's because it's a ghost, it's a little bit more difficult to scan? I don't know. Where's my habitat builder? We're going to start with the base, of course. Found... Did I bring... I did bring lead, right? I'm pretty sure I brought lead. It's just inside my seam off somewhere. I don't know how much lead I brought, though. I think I only brought a little bit. Not that compartment. This one. Yeah, there we go. I only brought three lead. Hopefully one foundation is good enough. Should be. Should be. I'm glad that these rays don't actually damage me by bumping into me. That would suck. Okay, just right against the surface. There we go, and boom. Foundation made. And it's linking to the ground. Yep, yep, yep. Multi-purpose room. Right above it. And I should build a hatch into this somewhere. So where should the entrance to this base be? I guess over... Actually, you know what? Maybe I should build the base starting off just at the far left side. Just build the foundation over there. And just... Spread it across this platform. This entire platform. This is construction sim now. Let's try it. Foundation. I want to put it over... Oh, mm, maybe not right there. Right here, I'm thinking. I'm low on oxygen. You know what? I'll... That, that base can wait. Oh, oxygen is decreasing fast. Whew. That was almost bad. <laughs> I can get a bit closer, actually. There we go. That's about right. Scan, scan, grow, grow, build. Is it going to reach all the way to the bottom? Yep, yep, yep. 
multi-purpose room over on this corner, I guess. Is it, I wish the multi-purpose room would go in the middle of this foundation. I mean, I guess it m makes a little bit more space if I put it right here, but still. It's right in between four foundations. So if I built four foundations, it would look perfect. Eye compartment. Actually, can I just put a... I can just build a hat... No, 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 no. I can put a hat straight in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I need one quartz. Where are you, my sea mouth? Where do I put the quartz? Is it in this one? There we go. I'll just grab five and a couple more titanium. While we're at it, just for expansions. And now we should have a functional base. Oh, we have a base. <laughs> Not functional yet because it has no power. Emergency power only. How much does it take to make a nuclear reactor? Plasteel, advanced wiring kit, and lead. I can break apart some things at my old base to make that. I have enough titanium and stuff here. You know what? I'm just gonna make the general outline of this base and throw some things inside while I have time. But I'm gonna do that off camera because I'm gonna end it off here. I have the foundation for a base. We went on some grand adventures in these last two parts. And now we have a nice, beautiful tree down here. Yggdrasil to guide us on our adventure, to give us luck, to give us warmth, to calm us down. It's a good time, and I'm pretty excited for moving house. That'll be pretty fun. So, hopefully you all enjoyed going on this adventure together, and I hope to see you all on the next adventure.